What is up everybody? This is Ankit from Kurit and in this video we are going to be creating this header with animated logo and this hamburger menu. And let me remind you again that I'm creating a video series in which I'll show you how to create this layout using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And I've already uploaded a full preview of this layout. If you haven't watched it, the link is down below in the description or a card is popping up right here. So now without any further ado, let's get started. So we have three files over here. The first one is index.html with a very basic boilerplate and it links two files. The first one is style.css and the other one is main.js. And then in style.css it is completely empty and same is the studio with main.js. Now here we will create a header. So we'll create a header with a class of main header. And inside that we'll create a logo, an anchor tag and with a class of logo, href, hashtag and then I'll give some text like anicate. And now we'll create the hamburger menu. And inside that I'll have two bars. And if you don't know what these bars are, let me show you. Okay, so I'll come in my browser and here what and here is what we have right now and then landing page so these two straight lines these two whitish lines are the bars and nothing else and that would be created using CSS so you don't have to worry about that now we'll come out in our CSS and then give some basic stylings to our universal operator and pseudo element padding of zero margin of zero box size in border box and then inside body I'll give it a background of 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, save it and now here we have and then I'll come to my main header and now I'll place some real quotes here and then I'll add first a padding of 2m from top and bottom and then 10% from left and right and before that I want to give it a width of 100% so it takes the width of the entire device and then uh, what I can do is okay let me leave it as it is and then I'll show you what I want to do now I'll grab on the logo and then I'll, sh I'll say font size should be 3 rem text decoration none color f1c40f I have this color this is a yellowish color and then let's see what is what we have right now so we have something like this now I want a font family and I'll choose it from fonts.google.com and here I choose Ubuntu so I'll go to Ubuntu and then click on it and then I'll choose the boldest one but not the italic and then I'll copy this import function and then in my code editor I'll come at the top and then I'll paste it here save it and now here I'll give font family so font family ubuntu ubuntu sans serif I believe okay now here so we have like we have a logo like this and this is good now I'll have to create a slanting key but I will not create that now I'll create it but first I'll create the hamburger menu okay and okay so I'll come in my code editor and see main header dot hamburger menu and first I'll give width of 4 RAM and height of 3 RAM and then background uh, uh, maybe white save it and then here so we have this hamburger menu over here so I've not created a real hamburger menu just to show you okay so now what I have to do is I have to push the items in extreme position extreme left and extreme right so how I can do that so first of all I want to I want these items to be horizontally aligned and for that we have something called flex box okay so 
in the parent element that is the main header I'll say display flex and what this will do this will align the items in a horizontal direction now I want to push the items in extreme positions extreme left and extreme right okay so for that we have something called justify content space between and this was a property that was locked but now it is unlocked because we have written this property display flex so whenever we write display flex we can use this property over here so justify content remember that justify content does a job only in the x direction for now okay whatever it does it does in x direction but yeah you can change the direction but for now understand this that justify content works in x direction if you have not added a flex direction and column is there okay so if you have not written this then this uh, then justify content will work in x direction and if you have if you have written column or column uh, column or column reverse okay if you have written any of these two then now justify content will work in y direction and this is a part of flexbox so i'll not go that deep into the into that so now i have justify content and i've written space between so what it will do is it will add a space between the items and it will push them in the extreme position but this is not in the extreme position i'm always saying that it pushes the items to the extreme position so what happen what is happening is i've given it a padding a padding of 10 percent so if it is a padding of 10 percent so it cannot go over that padding okay if um, i'm not doing the position of absolute okay so it cannot go beyond that padding so for now it is in the extreme position now i want to create this hamburger menu so i'll go to i'll go to my hamburger menu and then i remove this bag on white or okay i remove that and then i'll add the bars okay so the bar i want to give it a height of two pixels width of 100 um, percent and then i want to give it a background of snfnf that is a whitish color and now I have something like this okay so it is kind of over at overwriting each other we have two bars and both these bars are overwriting each other so uh, let me let me add a border a border one pixel solid white and then it would be a bit easier for you to understand what will happen here okay so now I want to give space between uh, like here uh, I want to give uh, okay so I want to give space between these two bars and for the space we can we can uh, use flex box so in the parent element that is hamburger menu I will write display flex but this is going to align the items in a horizontal direction so in order to overcome overcome that I will add flex direction column so now the items would be uh, aligned vertically and now I will use justify content and here justify content will work in y direction because I have added this uh, because I have added this flex direction column so because of this this will work in a y direction so justify content space around I want space around here so that there is a bit of space between the border of this container and this item also okay and now I'll remove this border from here and okay, save it and now okay so we have created this hamburger menu and now we want to create this slanting key like this one okay so but before that I'll add cursor pointer pointer to my hamburger menu now it is completed now it is the JS part come to our main address and then I have already linked that this main project. Now I'll grab the logo. Once logo equals document dot query selector dot logo. Okay, on 
good. You know, I'll also create uh, rating animated rating animated logo. Now, what I'll do is I'll add logo dot inner HTML. And now, listen to what uh, I will do now. I will do now. It is very important. So logo dot inner HTML equals logo dot text content dot split. And what I'm doing is see if I take logo here, then what it is going to return is this. Okay, so it will return a n i k e t. Now what I want is focus here logo dot inner HTML. Okay, so I want to add some HTML to it. And I'll grab the logo dot text content and then I'm splitting it. Okay, so splitting it. Uh, I want to split these. If and then if I write maybe comma here, if I do so, then it will start from the very beginning and then search for a comma. Let's say we have a comma here and then a comma here and then here. So it will start from very beginning and then search for a comma. It will go here. Then it will go here, then it will go here, and then it will find a comma here. Okay, here it is a comma. So, what it will do is it will split this text into two parts. The first one will be a n, and it will not see where is next comma, it will create i k e t and the, this comma in another part. Okay, and then after that, it will search for another comma, and then here it finds another comma so now this was a different part already it it is a different part now so it will separate this part and before this i k would be a different part and e comma t would be a different part and same it will do for this comma and then when the text ends the process will stop okay so this is what split will do and inside this if we write comma it will do so and inside uh, inside this if i write nothing then it would create a part of every letter if i write nothing here so a is another part n is another part i is another part and all that okay and now um what i want to do is okay so it has splitted everything now i want to do uh, let me zoom out now i want to add a map function and in this I'll pass letter and uh, let me do it like this okay so I'll create a span tag and then I'll close it and then I want to add class that is logo letter and we are doing this because we want to style this logo letter the last logo letter in CSS so now here I write logo letter and after everything is done i want to join the i want to join this text okay uh, here. i want to join this text and here if i put comma then it has separated it has separated here every single thing okay so it has separated everything here so now we want to join these after doing everything we want now to join this so in order to join this we have to write something here so if we add comma then after creating the part it will join it and then put a comma in between if we have given comma there and if we have not given this comma if we have written uh, if we have uh, put a blank here so it will join it as it is okay so very good now if we go to our browser and then here you will find exactly no changes but if you open your google developers too and then if you uh, let me remove this mobile view and now if i inspect c every text is now a separate uh, separate span tag we have a n i k e and t with a span class of logo letter okay now i have to grab the last logo letter that is t so i come to my vs code and then here i'll grab uh, where is the logo now okay. so here I'll grab this logo, logo letter, and the last child. Okay, last child I'll grab, and here I'll say that uh, I want to transform rotate minus 45 degrees. I'll save it, 
now here uh, if I come here then I'll find no changes it will not rotate why because it is a span tag and this property is invalid for span tags because a span tag uh, by default has a property display in line and in uh, and in items having display in line this will not work so we have to change this and we cannot do block here and if we do this what will happen is uh, this okay so it rotates but now it is a display of block so it will not come in uh, it will not come in the same direction okay so now what i can do is i can do inline block and this is going to do our job now here we have okay so the only thing left here is see if i zoom in and okay you are not getting what is going on here but yes what you should do always is you have to after justify content you have to use align item center and align item uh, does a job in y direction and center centers every item so now it has centered every item in y direction as well and it was a very minor change but you should do that and now it is all done okay so it is all done and in the next video we have to create this full screen nav bar and for this video that is it hit that like button if you like the video make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos thank you for watching